I've tried a different, few different lifestyles. I grew up in the mountains and uh, I tried, you know, farming and I tried, uh, I was a tour guide, I tried walking and doing all kinds of things and uh, of them all, the one that provided me with the more, like, the, the most freedom, the most uh, enjoyment, happiness, I would say, uh, is being on a sailboat. I think. So I guess it's not for everybody, but for me it works that way. Karaka is a pretty big boat. She's uh, 53 feet, big steel mama. Also like the other island in French Polynesia, but Tahiti ranks really high in the places in the world. When you're traveling by sail, like this is a really good place. I just don't really work five. What was your job? I was a tour guide. Tour guide? Yes, I did safaris in South Africa, I did tours in North Africa. I, uh, yeah, I was working in tourism. So I was not really like going for the sea. I was not like from very young trying to go at sea and be sailor or all that. It just, uh, I was more for oriented toward nature. And when I discovered that you could go sailing and see nature like on the ocean and see what it is about, that's where I got drawn into the sailor's life. Before that, I didn't really think so much about it. How many dollars is worth a minute of your life, really? I think my life is more, more than just money. So I just don't waste it making money. The boat was a dollar. The boat was abandoned uh, in Hong Kong, and uh, nobody wanted it. So I just uh, got it and uh, I never uh, paid the dollar. It was a free boat. One dollar boat. One dollar boat? One dollar boat. Good. There's plenty of them. Some of the benefit of being on a sailboat, of being a sailor, is that uh, well, you have an incredible freedom. You can go anywhere you want on the ocean. Traveling is much easier for all kind of paperwork and this kind of thing like that. You can explore islands and coasts that very few people get to, to go. And stay there as long as you want and just go free as a bird. That's one of the big things. You do remove yourself somehow from uh, the rest of the world. Like let's say that normal society with a 9 to 5 job, with a salary, with a rent, with traffic, with TV and advertisement and all this, you just go away from that. You just leave it behind and forget it and you go to some places where it's not there and you don't have to worry about it. It's, uh, it's a big breath of fresh air. People coming on the boat, they stay a long time, they become friends, they become almost family, like I had people staying up to a year on the boat or, or more in, sometime. And uh, when we share everything together for a long time on the boat, when we are all together going fishing, going, you know, getting fruits and getting the boat repaired, like when you just really live together as a community. I can't afford to run that boat on my own. I share the boat. I really share the boat, so basically it's a share cost. I take people who come as crew for extended period of time and uh, give a bit of money regularly to help with the cost, the running cost and the maintenance and all that. So all together we get the boat going and the, and the thing happening. So that creates a community on the boat that is absolutely amazing. 
We got uh, people from all walks of life, like all kind of background, nationalities, age, gender, anything. And, uh, and we mix it up and it makes for very rich social interaction, very good conversation. We learn, we exchange, we play music, there's a lot going on. And that is something that obviously I wouldn't do without. It's uh, important in life to have a social environment like that, to go, to feel yourself, to you know learn and share. On the sailboat, by necessity, you're a team, you can't just do be doing your own thing, you understand both kind of thing. So like we are, and it's a small place, we are on top of each other. There's uh, the boat and me, and I try to separate them. So the boat is operated as a non-profit cooperative kind of thing. So we share the cost of the running of the boat. So whenever we're on a trip, we go sailing, everybody on board participate in the cost, what it costs like to fuel and paint and harbor fees and things like that. And that's the, the money that people bring is for the boat. And then for myself, I make money on the side doing little jobs or doing some art or doing whatever I can to make a bit of money. The main thing is that I try to spend as little as possible. Don't, I don't spend much really, I just got some food and I try to get local food and not spend too much on that. I go fishing, I go gather fruits and things like that and I spend so little that I can go like that for a long time without really having a job. So yeah, no, we do eat very healthy on the boat. We are very careful about that. We, uh, I mean, I'm not vegan or vegetarian or anything. We get a, all kind of good food from you know, local food, organic if we can and we just try to, to be careful of what we what we buy so we, we get healthy food. The connection with nature, like you're always you I guess you're dependent on, on nature, like with the elements with the storms and, and winds and currents and seasons and stuff. So you're very aware of what's around you when you're on a sailboat because you can't not do it. You use the wind to move. You're not stuck in a building, you just have to connect with the rest of the of the planet. You do respect you do get to respect the sea and you do get to love it. And if you don't, I guess you're not sailing. I'm not religious at all. I'm an atheist and I'm quite vocal about it. Humans are animals, like we are part of the ecosystem. We are just one species among the others in the ecosystem on the on the planet. I don't think of there is life after death, I don't think there is energy, and I'm pretty convinced of that. I have got a lot of argument, I've got a lot of time on the boat to think about it. Science explained very well the universe and everything in it, including us and the planet, and it does not need a spirituality or, or a god to explain how the universe came to be. When I get tired, I just sail around the world. You know, I get in my old boat and I just disappear into the sunset.